Hey guys, coming to you today with a real quick video. I just wanted to show a new quail house that I built. If anybody's looking for some inspiration or ideas for building their own quail houses. Um, so this is the new one that I just built. This one um, we've had for a couple years. Uh, I'll give you a quick repeat inside because I did feature this one in a previous video that I did about the different type of quail housing that we had. So you can go back and find that one. But, all the quail in there hanging out. Sometimes it's hard to see them because they love hiding under those tree branches. So those are my current breeders. Um, and then I have some hatching eggs in the incubator right now that I ordered online from another breeder. Um, that this house will be for them once they hatch out and grow out. Um, so this house is seven foot, show you the side, by four foot. So that's 28 square feet. Um, when I'm doing an aviary setting or like a ground pen where the birds have places to hide under and get away from each other, etc., I like to do a minimum of one square foot per bird. Um, so this house could fit 28 birds. Sometimes I give them a little bit more space than that. I would probably do no more than maybe like 20, 22 or 23 in here, just so they have extra space, um, just so they can stay out of each other's business. So I love these little locks here that I just get at the hardware store. Carabiner clips are great because raccoons and such, um, they can undo these type of hooks, but they can't um, get the carabiners off even though they have opposable thumbs. I just don't think they're like quite smart enough or strong enough, I don't know. Never had one get one open. Here's the inside, it's just a box. Just a good old little rectangle. I always tell everybody, if you can build a square, you can build a quail house because they don't need a lot, and it doesn't have to be fancy. And it's definitely, you can make it more heavy duty than like a prefab rabbit hutch or chicken coop that you can get online, which those work fine too, but um, I'm kind of into building my own things these days, especially when I had scrap wood laying around. So here's the back side. And I did put the roof at an angle for rain runoff, so... If you're capable of doing an angle that's great but I have other enclosures too that aren't on an angle and that's fine too for the roof I really like these um, corrugulated plastic roofing panels and for this house I did half uh, solid and then I did half clear that way they're gonna get lots of sunlight but at the same time I don't want them to bake during the summertime so this half they'll have shade plus i'm gonna put tree branches and stuff in there um for them to hide under there'll be more shade so the only thing i have to do is take some wire and i do run a wire skirting around the bottom that way nothing can dig under this coop has a wire skirting um it's just that the grass has grown over it so you don't even see it anymore by the end which is nice um and yeah i guess that's all so i just wanted to share that if anybody's out there looking for some ideas for a home built quail coop